everybody and welcome to our channel homeschool honey in this video I'm going to be sharing an activity that we did where we were using crayons to show the different types of rocks make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos about all the fun homeschooling adventures that we do and check out the other activities that we did in our rock unit like creating rocks from starbursts Leave a comment down below letting us know another way that you've taught geology or the rock cycle, some fun hands-on way, and make sure you check out the comment section because people leave great ideas that you can use for your homeschool classroom as well. Okay, so we are gonna show the different types of rocks in another way, and what do I have here? Crayons. What are they? Crayons. Crayons, yep, they're all shaped up, crayons. So these are representing different minerals, and we are gonna create a sedimentary rock. So if we're just making a sedimentary rock, what are we going to do? Smush, smush. Smush, smush, heat and pressure is metamorphic. metamorphic. Sedimentary rock means they're all just what? One so you might have a layer of sand and then the river washes down some granite or quartz or and diamond. then or diamond. And then along the wind blows some Stone. some other kind of stone. And then the river goes up real high again and suddenly we've got some, some green turquoise in the mix. And we've got all these different kinds of rocks that are just mixed up together, right? Mm -hmm. They're put down in layers. Mm -hmm. Michael? They're like put in layers and they're mixed up together. So pick some different colors and create a sedimentary rock for me. Oh, I need some violet. This way again? Yep, fold it over. So again, we're doing mm -hmm. sedimentary. So there's not like a ton of heat and pressure, but enough to like get the rock to form in there. Let's see yours. So just to kind of stick them together some. Can you make them all here? Yeah. Oh. They're just kind of loosely formed together. Yes, yeah, smush them together because they need them to stick. <laughs> Mama, can I try a red one? Maybe in a second. I'm watching to see how you listen. All right, let's see how your sedimentary rock looks, Michael. All right, so you got your sedimentary rock. You got your sedimentary rock. All right, it's just all these little bits together. Okay, it's kind of a conglomerate of stuff there. Okay, so this now is the group. this is the sedimentary rock breaker. <laughs> okay, so next, if we want to make this a metamorphic rock, we have to apply what? Heat, Heat and pressure. Pressure. So now we're really gonna use our hands to warm it up. And we're gonna really press. So kind of fold it over, and if you gotta pick it up with both hands, you can do that. <laughs> so you're applying what? Pressure. Pressure. And heat from my foot. Okay, heat from your foot. Are you gonna step on it? Heat yeah. from your foot. Pressure. Heat. Pressure. <laughs> and you, Michael, you're doing heat and pressure. Pressure okay. right now. Pressure from rolling it. <laughs> Let's see, it's not focusing. Okay, is it? Is your, what kind of rock are you making again? Mm, metamorphic. Metamorphic. You need more? Pressure. More pressure, more heat? Michael's. No, that's mine. I couldn't get my metamorphic rock to take. Please, be smushed already. All right. Which kind of rock are you making? Metamorphic. Yep. Did it all pull out? No, I hope not. Uh, Little bits are stuck together. Yeah, I think I need to smush it up. I need more. more. <laughs> well, you know, they t metamorphic rocks take many, many, many years to create. Are you going to pour it in? It took like a minute. <laughs> All right, get those in there. Uh, where's mine? Is it? What happened to our metamorphic rocks? They smushed together. <laughs> we got impatient. Yeah, so we couldn't really do it. <laughs> you got more. What's the sediment? Crayons. The little bits of the sediment, the little bits of oh, um, rock, yeah. Making a metamorphic rock is way harder than I thought. Yeah. Hey, Mama, can I, do you have any more blank pieces of, of this? Uh, here's some you can pull from. 
All right, I'm gonna take mine to float because I'm gonna make my metamorphic rock into an igneous rock. Me too. How am I gonna make it into an igneous rock? Put it in hot water. Yep, we're just going into the hot water. Oh. Onto the hot water. So some of the crayon shavings got into the water and made it look really grody, but it's, it's clean water just with melty crayon shavings. That's why it looks so gross. <laughs> It looks more like concrete. Mine does, when they all mix together. Sort of. But like, an artwork concrete. Mm. Maybe it's all that gray. You know there's different kinds of igneous rocks. There's a couple kinds. Like, the one that's like obsidian, it's all one color. Well, pretty much one color. Not pretty same. much. But there's mm. other kinds of igneous rock when it mm. cools differently. Your red one, really is one color. It's like some lighter red. And then there's some igneous rocks that cool and all the air bubbles escape from it and it has holes in it. Oops. Okay, so we were doing our rocks yesterday. Yeah, igneous. So what happened with our igneous rock? It no It just stuck there, you can't even get it. <laughs> now, I thought I was being smart doing this in the little glass bowls. Because I've seen people do the starburst in the boats like this. Well, I probably should have done that because then we could have peeled them out easier. Because oh. they're, they're having their trouble peeling these out can of I here. Try getting it out. You can try peeling it out. Oops. Sorry. Plonk. <laughs> I didn't even Okay, but our crayon ones melted in there real good. Can you use the pencil to get it out? Oh, don't don't do that towards yourself though. Because if it pops up, it'll stab you. It's all mushy. Yeah, it's all mushy in there. So we might have to get it hot and melty. Your igneous rock is so strong. I can't. <laughs> oh, I broke the pencil. So we may have to get it hot again and melt it and then pour it out. No, 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 not the scissors, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those igneous rocks are very strong. Wasn't Granddad just telling you that? Igneous rocks are super strong. Yeah. Okay, put, this isn't even a rock. Put those, put those, um, put those in the fridge for right now. And we'll, we'll melt them down and pour them out. Because these and then we'll... So Put them out on a plate like those. Thanks so much for checking out our video. Go down there and leave a comment and let us know how you like teaching the rock cycle and geology. And I will talk to you on the next one, guys. See you later. Bye.